And now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Jordan Lehman. All right, at 645 right now, we do have some mist and drizzle being reported here. And you can see in our Skyview Network cameras powered by Pella Windows and Doors, Appleton at a comfortable 34 degrees. Two degrees above freezing. However, some of our communities not so lucky as this drizzle moves through here. And when you get drizzle like that and temperatures that are either at 32 or below, that's where the roads, maybe some bridges and overpasses, doesn't take long to become uh, Ice skating rinks, that's for sure. So 31 right now in Watoma. I'd watch the travel if you're anywhere west of Fremont on Highway 10. We have some slippery stretches there. You get north by Oconto, uh, Coleman, Lena, Pound on uh, 141. If you're driving uh, on any of those roads, those are reported as ice covered. You get up to Highway 8. Uh, by mountain there, 29 degrees, and Highway 8 is ice covered at the moment. That's where we have some school closures. But anywhere south of Green Bay, over to the lake shore, you guys are plenty warm this morning and will stay that way. So here's our radar. It's not picking up on a whole lot of rain and snow, but the drizzle is out there, even though the radar doesn't see it very well. And we have some increasing moisture from the south, where we have light rain, and then snow showers moving in from the northwest, and those two combine to bring us uh, what we're dealing with today. So here's your day planner in Green Bay. We are going to be above freezing, so a light mix out there right now, and that continues for the morning. Eventually, it does turn snowy as cooler air filters in here, and anything should taper off by about 7 to 9 o'clock tonight. So high risk future cast. Notice how we have that drizzle out there, and it's going to be cold enough up north where we have the freezing drizzle potential. So watch that through the mid to late morning hours. This continues up until about midday. So not a whole lot of snow being reported, at least through the first half of today, where rain is mainly to the south and by the lake. Then the colder air filters in with the snow. So as we hit about 3 o'clock, it's snowing up north. That snow line kind of reaching Green Bay and the Fox River Valley, eventually heading over to the lakeshore once we hit 5 o'clock this evening. And most of us snowing for the commute home from work. So this is where travel may get a little bit slick later on today. And then that snow begins to taper off, push southward and eastward through about 8, 9 o'clock. And there it goes. We go dry through the rest of the evening. So with icy travel potential uh, for this morning and then eventually accumulating snow, we have a winter weather advisory from now until 6 o'clock for, for areas north and west of Green Bay and Appleton. So uh, how much snow are we going to get for today? Not a whole lot through about the midday hours, maybe a quarter inch by Antigo and up north by Mountain. But once we head into the afternoon and evening, the rest of it makes its way southward. And I'm thinking about one to two inches of snow North of Appleton, you get to Oshkosh, Fond du Lac, Manitowoc, over to Lakeshore where it's a little bit warmer and snow accumulation should stay underneath an inch there. So an area of low pressure pulling out of here. Behind it, very, very cold air, which we're going to start to feel late tonight through tomorrow and Wednesday. How about those highs tomorrow? Only in the teens. And I think we hit this in the morning and fall throughout the day. We'll be falling to a high of 7 degrees on Wednesday. So lots of single digits out there midweek. When you combine the breeze with those chilly temperatures, we open up the day on Wednesday with wind chills potentially around the 15 to 25 degree below zero mark. So for today, not as cold, but clouds and fog and a rainy mix turning over to snow in the afternoon. The snow tapers off through this evening. Behind it, cold and breezy as we get down to the teens and then eventually single digits for tomorrow. Seven day forecast, 14 for Tuesday, seven for Wednesday, warming back up to Thursday. But when we have an air mass change, that brings, of course, another snow chance heading into Thursday. 